hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to compress image and save in your asp.net mvc web application so what we will do is we will upload some image and then we will try to compress that before saving so that is gonna be helpful in saving much more memory on your server because when users upload images they can upload big size images also and that that can consume a lot of space on your server so here what we have is we will just compress the image before saving and that will save our memory so i will first show you a demo here and for demo what we have here is i have downloaded a few images here so we have image here this one and this is currently 4736 kb and we will try to upload that and see if that got compressed so we have one file upload control here for selecting the image so this is the image and we will see the size here so it is 4.62 mb so we will select the image now we will click on save and i will also show you the code here so we are not using any third party library for compressing the image it is just dot net libraries that we are using and are available by default so you don't have to worry about anything now this is the http post method where we will go when we will click on save here and it will go to compression on home controller so here we are and we have compression here and then we have the http post file base for capturing the file so we will just click on the button here now and we will see so it is now here and you will see that the file is here and the size is 4.9 MB okay so now what we are doing is actually for our compression we will need a byte array instead of a file so what we have to do is first of all we are creating a path where we want to save our compressed image so I am currently saving it inside content compressed and this is a file name that I have created so the path will look like this so compressed folder and then the file name okay so now i am converting the file in the byte array so after you get the byte array here then you can pass that to our function which actually requires the target path and the image byte array so now we will go inside that and this is all provided by system dot drawing namespace which is a used for converting image to a uh, compressed size so we will execute the code here and this will check the extensions and then we'll convert the image so now it has saved the file in the target location and that's it now we will go to the location and we will see if there is any image there so this is the compressed folder that we have seen and this is the compressed file so now you can see the file size is 66.9 kb now this is this was the 4 mb file that he has reduced to 66.9 kb so now this is how it is compressing the file now we will try with one more image so we have the other image here this is 789kb here and we will try to compress this one also so again i will show you the file size is 789kb we will select that we will click on save and then we will press continue now we will go to compressed folder and we have one more image here so we will see so it is now 20 kb so 739 kb file is converted to 20 kb and we will just open the file and it looks okay so this is how you can compress the image in asp.net mvc uh, we will provide you the link of the code uh, 
for this operation and uh, if you don't get the link you can also go to our official website cortonet.com and here you can check image compression in asp.net mvc there you can go and you can also download the source code directly from there that will be a working application so you don't have to worry about anything so here you can see download attachment here if you click on this download attachment then uh, you will be able to get all the source code so if you have any kind of question then you can comment on the video and if you find it useful then don't forget to subscribe the channel so thanks for watching guys and we will keep posting new videos so thanks for now